Hey everybody. Okay, so we just finished conditioning stuff every day. Hopefully everybody's doing been doing those. Something's weird with my comments, I don't know. So I can't like see comments and I don't know if you can comment on it, but it's fine. We'll just go with it. So hopefully we're getting close to being able to go back to practice. It's been a really long time. But hopefully everybody has been doing basics, doing what they can. It's been super nice outside, so getting outside, going on a run, going outside if you have trampoline, you know, just keeping your body active is what we need right now. So, I am going to do some videos with some basic skill progressions. So, like handstands, cartwheels, round offs, front walkover, back walkovers, some leaps, some jumps. Okay, so you can do them at home, they're easy. Okay. But when you're doing these, it doesn't help if we're going to do them halfway, right? You want to do them to the best of your ability because it's super easy to fix mistakes on little things like your handstand, your T-mark, your T-lever, your cartwheel, rather than having to go back when we're working on round-up back handstand back tucks and having to go back and figure out what's going on with your round-off. When if we start from the beginning with, like, for example, we have a 10-second lunge, Okay, those you need to like really work. Okay, like you can't do a handstand on the beam if you don't have a really good lunge in and lunge out because that makes helps you stay on the beam. Okay, so like when we're doing these, making sure that you're doing them to the best of your ability. Okay, it's creating that muscle memory, making sure we have these basic skills down pat so that when we go back to practice hopefully very soon because I miss everybody so much and hopefully we can uh, jump right into like the harder skills and the new skills we need for the new season right okay so um let's see here I'm gonna kind of tell you what some of these things are beforehand so that you know if you wanna like not follow along with the video that's fine totally okay um, I'm going to figure out if I can, like, attach a picture of this to the video, maybe. I don't know. I'm not good with that. So, the first thing we're going to do is 10-second lunge on each leg. We're going to do that three times on each leg, right? So, 30 seconds, technically, on each leg. Then we have 10 T-marks on each leg, 10 T-levers on each leg. Then we're going to do a 15-second push-up hold, okay? It's just building that shoulder, upper arm strength, because when you're in your handstand, so you push, you want it to be like you have no neck. You don't want it just to just be in your handstand. You gotta push way up top, up tall so that your neck disappears. So that's what we're gonna do with the 15 second push up. Then we're gonna do a 10 second Spider-Man wall hold. Okay, so we're gonna walk our feet up the wall, wee, and it's just building that muscle, okay? So I'll show you one really quick so you can kind of see what it looks like. Let's see. Do that, do that, again swap. Just walking your feet up the wall. Here. Spider Man. Wee! Okay. That's your Spider Man wall hold. Okay. Nothing crazy yet. Then, we're going to do T lever hops, 10 on each leg. Okay. Just building those leg muscles, keeping our arms tight, muscle memory. Then, we're going to do a three, wait, not three, 10 three quarter hand stands. So, just kick up. To right around here just making sure our feet are tapping keeping our legs tight building that muscle memory I know it's repetitive and I know it's a little yeah, a little boring sometimes but you got to do this so we don't have to do it when we go back to practice now we're gonna do 15 shoulder shrugs okay you can do them against the wall sitting down in a push-up whatever just working on extending those shoulders building that shoulder strength arm strength flexibility in here then you're gonna do 10 Belly to the wall handstands. Wait, I skipped 10 wall handstands. Kick up, back to the wall. Then you're gonna do 10 belly to the wall, okay? Just different positions help you focus on different things. So like when your back's to the wall, you're really focusing on pushing through your shoulders, right? When your belly's to the wall, you're really thinking about that nice tight hollow belly and hollow back and arm strength, okay? Then after your 10 belly to the wall handstands, you're just going to do ten, your 10 handstands on the ground, each leg. We're going to do each leg just to get the feel. 
And then I have a few extra things that you can like kind of stick in there wherever you want. 30 second split on each leg. Two times, so like a one minute split on each leg, really. Um, it's just building that flexibility in your leg so you can get a really nice tight split when you come down out of your handstand. Then, you can do a 30 second plank hold, just building that ab muscle, some core, some shoulder strength. We need it. Then, 10 forward and backward kicks on each leg. Just for that super nice tight T-lever, super pretty T-mark, T-lever, handstand position. And then 15 arm circles, just arm circles. It's just building that shoulder flexibility. Again, you don't have to do those ones. Those last four are just for fun if you need a little bit extra, if you want your hands in to be perfect. So, we're going to get going. Our first thing, make sure you stretch a little bit. You don't need to, like, go crazy with the stretches here. I just stretched and, like, worked out and everything. So, I'm ready to stretch, ready to go. If you need to stretch, just do, like, some shoulder stretches, some wrists, some ankles, just a little bit of basic stuff so your body's ready. 10 second lunge each way. When we're doing these, you're really gonna focus on body shapes. So I'm only gonna do one on each leg, but I want you to pause the video and finish. I just don't want the video to be like 25 minutes long, like some of the other ones are a little ridiculous. So I'm just gonna do one lunge on each leg so you have somebody to do it with you, okay? We're gonna do it for 10 seconds. So really just squeezing, lunge here, arms up, you're holding it, squeeze in. I know it's super easy and super boring, okay? But you really gotta get that muscle memory going and squeeze those muscles. All right, other leg. Make sure your front foot's not turned in. It's turned out a little bit more straightforward, okay? Your knee's not going over your toe. You're squeezing your back leg, your bottom, your abs, your shoulders, arms. Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ten all right go ahead and pause the video and you're gonna do two more on each leg okay okay you're back all right we're gonna do 10 t marks on each leg i am hopefully not gonna fall because mine are usually bad okay i am gonna do 10 on one leg and then you're gonna finish your 10 on your other leg okay so start eating start eating a nice tight lunge lunge and then go. Two marks. And back up. That's one. And two. Squeeze your belly. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Alright, go ahead and pause the video. Make sure your T, T marks brave. 10 T lovers is next, okay? Alright, let's do it. My T lovers might be kind of gross, but we're gonna go with it. Make sure you lunge T mark into these. Work. T lover. Work. Finish. That's one. You can go a little faster if you want to. And just pause me. Two. Three. Maybe I'll only do five. I don't know. Four. Five. Yeah, I'll only do five. So pause, you're gonna do, finish your five on that leg and then you're gonna do 10 on the other leg, okay? Please make sure you're finishing these. I know I'm not, but it's gonna be really good for you and we'll, hopefully the coaches will be able to tell kinda who's been doing stuff and that will put you at the top of the game. All right, we're gonna do a 15 second push up hold. Just building those arm muscles, you know, super tight, okay? Make sure your bottom's down. 
Push up hold. We're right here. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, seven, ten, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. All right, you're gonna do two more. Pause. Do your last two. All right, we're gonna do our 10 second Spider-Man wall hold. You're gonna do these five times. Five. Walk your feet up, hold for 10. Come back down, okay? These don't need to be like perfect. It's just really pushing through our shoulders. Um, all right, I'm gonna go to the far wall over here. Over here. Okay. Way over here. Okay, walk our feet up. Doesn't matter how far out you are or how far or how close to the wall you are, as long as you are tight. Spider Man! Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright. You got four more. Let's see if I need to move. Nope. Okay. Perfect. All right, we're going to do 10 T-lever hops on each leg. I'm going to do five on one leg, and then you're going to finish. Make sure when you do these T-lever hops, it's just pushing through that bottom foot, the foot that's on the ground. All right, ready. Make sure you do your T-mark into it. T-mark, and hop. T-mark, finish, one. T-mark. I'll try some on my bad leg, huh? I'll leave five on my bad leg. One. Two. Three. your 10 on each leg and then we are gonna do we're gonna do 10 handstands against the wall with our back to the wall okay I don't have a specific time that you need to hold these for but I really want you to focus on doing what's best for you yeah 10 wall handstands so back to the wall squeezing your legs your bottom your shoulders you need to take a break because so your arms are like dying. I'm really out of breath. Okay. Make sure you squeeze in those abs, okay? It doesn't really help if you're just kind of kicking up and going against the wall. Against the wall, the purpose is that you have something there to hold you, okay? You have plenty of time to work on your body shapes, plenty of uh, handstand time to uh, push your shoulders and squeeze, okay? I'm gonna do five. You're gonna do 10 on each leg though. Make sure you're doing them on both legs, okay? It's really good for you to do them on both legs. All right, make sure you're still doing your T-mark and T-lever. You can even T-mark here, T-lever. You can up. Yep. Sorry, you can't really see mine. I don't know how to make it so that And finish all ten on each leg. Sorry if you can hear my dog barking. I think my mom's home. So now we're gonna do our 15 shoulder shrugs against the wall and a push up, whatever you want. Sorry. Oh, we're really early today. So. Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah, okay. 15 shoulder shrugs. Push up against the wall. You can do them in a handstand, whatever you want, okay? It's like just working on pushing through our shoulders so our shoulders build that muscle and that muscle memory and that skill to be able to push all the way up. All right. So you're going to do 15 and then stop and then you're going to do 15 more, okay? I am going to do mine and a push up. pause and finish your other 15 and now we're gonna do belly to the wall handstands so you can cartwheel up or you can back walk over up or you can like spider-man and then walk your feet in whatever works okay I'm gonna go to the far wall this time it's hard to get these right I think that's three. I'm tired of counting. Two more. Actually, haha. <laughs> Just kidding. You got like seven more. There was in your house before you even leave. That hurt. Okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that doesn't feel great. Okay. So, this is not going well. Okay. So, the ability to the wall handstands are going to be kind of hard to do them on each leg. So, just do 10 belly to the wall handstands. When you do them, make sure you shut the doors here out. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's gonna swell up nicely. And um, make sure it doesn't really matter how long you hold it or how you kick up, okay? Try not to use the wall as much. So if you can kick off and kind of squeeze right there in that handstand and just tap the wall a little bit if you need to, perfect. All right. Yeah, that's a swole already. So now you have your 10 handstands in each leg. Let's do it. I'm going to do five on my good leg and then go ice my foot because it's black and blue already. Okay. But you can also do these extra. Um little options at the bottom here. I'll zoom in a little bit. Okay. We're into our handstands. Make sure you push through those shoulders. Okay? Use those shoulders and that belly muscle. <laughs> Alright, ready? Make sure you're doing your T-mark and T-lever in and out, okay? T-mark, T-lever, lunge. We did all these things so that you can put them into your handstand and make your handstand perfect, okay? Handstands on the beam, handstands on the floor, casting handstands, whatever we're gonna do, we gotta have these straight body shapes. So that was the one I think. That's two. Four. Five. 
All right, go ahead and finish. 10 handstands on each leg. We're doing these on each leg, okay? Everything we pretty much do is gonna be on each leg, hopefully, as much as you can, okay? It's really good to get that uh, work on your uh, non-dominant leg, so your bad leg, and your good leg. Super beneficial, okay? So, our next, I have three more papers right here <laughs> of some more steel progressions that we're gonna be doing. Our next one is probably going to be a cartwheel one. And then I have a back walkover and a front walkover one, okay? And then depending on how many views, how many people are watching them, how many people are, if you can comment, please comment if you can, okay? Um, it's really good for me to like hear that people are doing these and that I'm not just doing them for fun. Cause I do have a good time, except when I karate kick the, uh, the door. That's my fun. But, um, make sure you're staying safe. I know that, uh, stuff is kind of uh, a little open now and, like, everybody's kind of, like, confused. But make sure you do what you need to do to stay safe and keep your family safe. Okay? Make sure you keep up on your schoolwork. I don't have to do anything for school, but I still will. You know? It's good for your brains. Don't play video games. Watch TV all day. Get outside if it's super nice, go on a hike, go on a walk, bring your dog on a walk, okay? You gotta do stuff to stay active, okay? Make sure you're looking at the Facebook pages, checking your emails, or your parents checking their emails, checking the Facebook page. Um, you can subscribe to the my YouTube thing or whatever so that you can get notifications when I post a new video or something, because the only thing I'm posting is, I'm not gonna be like YouTube famous or something, I'm just gonna be posting some skill progression, some conditioning, um, some workouts, some maybe like video updates, okay, ooh, I also got some more stuff for the prize bin, so I ordered for myself like 100 scrunchies, I'm wearing a new one right now, and I picked like 30 of those to go in the prize bin, so, some scrunchies, I think there's some pencils, some slime, some um lip gloss okay i'm still gonna be looking for some stuff okay so stay active stay safe i'll see you for our next video